Well, hello, beautiful Sagittarians. Welcome back, everybody. Thank you for being here, Saggy. Guys, the Infinite Energy Oracle Deck Draw is coming up soon. So please make sure you're a subscriber. That's all you have to do to enter to win is subscribe. So these are valuable decks. They're going to be listed at 111.11. So I would love to see some Sagittarians win these decks, guys. So I hope you do subscribe. Let's see what's going on for the Sagittarian energy. This could be you, the person around you. Or things that are influencing you at this time, Sag. Mm. Sagittarius. Saggy energy spirit. Mm. Co-parenting issues. The person around you is very unsatisfied. But they're, they feel like they never have enough. They said that they're forgiving, but they aren't. They're saying that they've apologized for their bad behavior, but some of them are lying about this. Hmm. Or hmm, they could be leveling up here, Saj. What's going on? Well, they heard some lies. And they supported these lies against you, Sagittarius. person is claiming that they're broke. And you're moving on with your life and you're saying goodbye to the past. Sagittarius, this is some kind of toxic twin flame journey masquerading as true love. So it could be someone from their past. There's some kind of co-parenting issues, Sagittarius. Hmm. Someone from their past still is holding a grudge against you, Sagittarius. Now it's either this person or... Or a person that they were dealing with. They were believing in lies. And they started supporting these lies. Sagittarius. Hmm. Sag. Told ya. They're in a toxic situation, Sagittarius. And this karmic energy that's involved is using children as a pawn. They're having problems parenting with this person. Now, it could be the person that they're with. Hmm. So the person that they're with wants to use these children that like this is a toxic twin flame situation that they're involved in. 
It's masquerading as true love. They're emotionally burdened. And whoever it, they're dealing with, it was just like the forbidden fruit. It was like, I want this because... It's something that's forbidden. You know what I mean? It's like I want it because I know I shouldn't have it, but I want it just because. The feelings are mutual between the two of them. They're both emotionally withdrawn, Sagittarius. And see, this person, your energy is all around them. They love you, Sagittarius. They're in, they feel like they're in the spotlight with whoever they, they, they are. Maybe it's like the trophy on their arm. Oh, I want it because I want it. But they're having problems with children issues. You are this person's rock. Yeah, and it's almost like they are sporting something for other people to see. Now, they're claiming they're broke and the karmic energy that they're around is like wants an extravagant lifestyle and your person is keeps saying, I'm broke, I'm broke. And the karmic that they're with is saying, well, I want this, we should be in the spotlight, I want extravagant vacations, I want to show off, and they're being heartbroken. That's poverty, pleading poverty. I'm sure of their relationship. So they could have, like, thought that they could see a future with this karmic energy. Uh, they thought that this would be, like, a high-profile relationship that it's going to lead to heartbreak. Whatever, if they married this other partner, it was for status. And it's almost like all eyes are on them, the forbidden fruit. They got problems. There's more to be revealed here. Uh huh? Jealousy. They fear losing you, Sagittarius, because you are the rock, their soulmate. Now, I got to tell you right now that they're in a toxic twin a relationship, a false twin karmic relationship. And they're fighting and arguing about status, about children, primarily. Now, if there is no children involved, then you know that. Leave that portion out of it. Acting very childish. But it is about the karmic energy that this person is around has got secrets. But the secret is, is that your person wants you. <laughs> your energy is all around. They see you as their rock, their steady, their solid foundation. The feelings between you and your person are mutual. But they're not over here. It's all for status. It's all for show. It may appear like, oh, we're living an extravagant lifestyle, but they're going freaking broke doing it. It's 
part of their karma. And it's going to lead to a breakup anyway. Sagittarius. Sacrifices here twice. Oh, so the feelings over here, there is no feelings. It's all for status. It's all for show. Somebody's putting on a show. There is no love there. It's a South Node life debt that they have acquired. <laughs> they feel forced into doing... Um, they feel forced to be there. Pushed into being there. It's for status and show. They're hearing that you are getting abundant. Sagittarius is receiving abundance. And it's almost like... Uh, they want to communicate. They're hearing that you're getting abundance somehow. It's your north node, Sagittarius. It's your destiny. Sagittarius, this person over here is in their south node. You're on your north node. They're in a south node toxic twin flame situation, which is a false twin. They are experiencing some kind of south node karmic situation. So they're hearing Sagittarius maybe through other people or by looking at you that you are on your north node you're seeing abundance and it's like they want to communicate with you Sagittarius or they are communicating uh, through other people to find out about you about your abundance you're on your north node, Sag. Your life purpose. It's your destiny. It is your abundance. It is your creativity that is bringing you in abundance. And you're starting to see the fruits of your labor. Now, somehow, this person knows about it, Sag. going on Saj they're lurking in the shadows Sagittarius you're moving in silence okay so you're just doing your life one step at a time you are moving in silence but this person is lurking somewhere in the shadows. They're feeling fed up with the situation that they're in. They're not saying it, Saj, but they feel like they've had the final straw with this karmic situation. Oh, wow. So there's friends here. Someone is offering their support in your social circle. Ah, that's how they're getting knowledge. Through someone through your social circle. Huh. 
Well, you're on the path to your north node. You are being directed. Huh. So, yeah, here's high honor, respect, dignity. You're not compromising. You're on your soul mission, Sagittarius. This is your justice. Your honesty bringing you success, spiritual order, and truth going on here, Sag. A wish is coming true for you, Sag. And now this person feels cast out. Uh, make or break. Uh, protection is here. Royal power, health protection, protected from evil forces. Your future, you're ahead of your time. New possibilities, new beginnings are opening up for you. You're finding the witch within yourself. Connecting with your inner witch, amplifying your energy, manifesting. This is your destiny, Sagittarius. And I've got to say that this person feels cast out. They feel like they've had the final straw with whatever situation that they're in. There's co-parenting issues, there's financial issues, the karmic wants an extravagant lifestyle, wants this person to be a big spender on them, and they're going broke doing it. This is your destiny, Sagittarius. It's almost like the universe has been protecting you from whatever energy this person was in. They're fighting and arguing, Sagittarius. And it seems to be about your new beginning. This karmic energy... is very jealous of you, Sag. Because they're depressed, they leapt right into a tower. Sagittarius, they did something recklessly, they did something foolishly, and they're depressed, and they feel cast out, Maybe their friend group is casting them out. You know what I mean? I don't know. They're going through a tower. They're depressed. It's a financial tower. And it could be to do with children or a child. Co-parenting. I don't know. Oh, Jesus. Extravagance. It's like your person could be over indulging in alcohol to cope. It's about money. Paying out money. Paying out money. While you're just sitting here on your destiny. What is this? At the crossroads. They're angry. They're bitter. They're resentful. That something is over. Sagittarius, that maybe you cast them out. People could be turning on this person.
the resentful Saj. This is a spiritual lesson that this person has got to learn. So they're resentful that you're getting the success, Saj. They're resentful that they have all these obligations, have all these commitments, payments. And you're getting the spotlight, Saj. High profile relationship. So maybe, you know, people are siding with Sagittarius. I don't know. They're spying on you. Since the breakout, they've been spying on you. And it could be within your social circle. They're seeing you getting a lot of attention or being in the spotlight. So they said they apologized, but they're secretly holding resentment toward you. It's a lie. Many of these never even apologize to you. See? It's a karmic situation. They listen to lies. They listen to rumors that the karmic had spread. They started there's an apology but still holding on to some resentment it is a karmic energy who is spreading some lies and rumors and this person started ad-libbing to those lies. <coughs> Your energy is all around them. They're highly resentful. They said... I apologize to Sagittarius, but they're still holding resentment against me. It's a lie. I don't know, for some of you, maybe this person did apologize to you and they're thinking that you were still holding some resentment toward them. See, there is children involved here. Finances. It is a karmic relationship. It is a false twin relationship that they're in. It's a false twin relationship. And they're claiming they're broke. And this karmic wants to have an extravagant uh, lifestyle and wants to live in some show home or some kind of showy, showy lifestyle. And they're saying, I'm broke. They're hurt that you walked away. And they are holding on to some bitterness, some resentment toward a karmic relationship that they were in. Something to do with co-parenting. It's 
It's lies, rumors. They're fighting and arguing. This could be a custody fight or some kind of co-parenting situation they found themselves in. And they're stressed out. And it's like they feel like they've had the final straw with someone. Someone from their past. It's coming back to haunt them. Your energy is all around them. These lies, this gossip is coming back to haunt them. Could be legal issues. Huh. It's like it's about family matters, judges, lawyers, legal issues. So they were believing whatever these lies, this gossip was, and they started partaking in it. It's co-parenting issues with somebody. That's why they pushed you away. Huh. Now it could be an ex of theirs. Yeah, they're going broke. Someone is someone from their past, an ex of theirs, was spreading rumors, lies, and gossip. So they rejected you, and now they're heavily burdened. Mm. Jealous. Someone who is jealous of your relationship. Friends. Moving in silence. Hmm. They love you. Sagittarius, you're single, you're abundant. They're hearing from people from your social circle that you are gaining some kind of wealth, abundance. 
they're jealous I told you it's a toxic twin flame relationship that they are in stuck in they thought it's masquerading that it's love but it's a toxic twin flame relationship it's a false twin relationship that they're in look a toxic twin flame relationship masquerading as true love they love you this is a toxic twin flame relationship that they are heavily burdened by they're fighting and arguing about co-parenting if there's children involved or they're just fighting and arguing about you Sagittarius because your energy is all around them all the time now this person whoever their ex is has been gossiping and spreading rumors about you now your relationship could have got a lot of attention it could have been <laughs> like people made a like to you guys together and this karmic and the karmic friends that are around this ex started spreading vicious lies and rumors about you Sagittarius they were jealous of you and they got their friends involved started talking shit about you so much gossip it became high profile uh, it could have been like posting things on social media getting a lot of attention <coughs> and this person from their past may have apologized to them but they were holding resentment and they went behind this person's back and they started spreading a bunch of vicious lies and rumors about you about them this could all be at a distance lies they started to even participate in that so they could have said oh yeah you know Sagittarius apologized to me for this that the other thing they regret what they said they did it's almost like you got blamed for something that their ex did or that this person themselves did they were manipulating <sighs> and now they're in regret So this is affecting their job whatever they're doing is affecting their job and they tried to smooth things over with the people that they worked with so they may have just put the whole onus on Satch because they were embarrassed at work so they might have put the whole blame on Sagittarius that's what they regret because they were scared that people might find out the truth I don't know Sagittarius was telling the truth Clout hungry. 
wanting to look like the good person. You know what I mean? So they hurt Sagittarius. Because they were insecure, childish. Well, looks like a Judah. Sagittarius, this person's ex started spreading vicious lies and rumors about you on the job. Uh, this person started to contribute to the same gossip. Started gossiping about you, Sag. Put the blame on you to look good in front of their family, in front of their friends, in front of their group, in front of the people at work. They contributed to the backstabbing. They made you the blame for everything, Sagittarius. They're lying their face off. And now they're embarrassed because they have, people know the truth. People know what really happened. <sighs> and since the people around them have found out the truth, you know, people talk. That's the rumor mill. They have found out the truth about what was said. They have found out the truth that this person has lied. They lied. They've been caught. They've been exposed. And people are turning against this person, their friend group, their family group, their social circle. They... They lied. They made you the blame, Sagittarius, but people know differently. They know the truth. And it's like your person could be an outcast now. You know what I mean? Because of the rumor mill. Because of the lies. They were out cheating. Okay? Okay. They might have said you were out cheating. Oh, Sagittarius has, has apologized or something like that. I don't know. Or this ex of theirs said that they were sorry. I won't do it again. Something like that. But they've been excommunicated. Somehow. People know the truth. They could have even gone so far as to say, oh yeah, Sagittarius apologized to me for this, that, the other thing. People are like, what? Sagittarius? This person is making up lies and rumors about you, Sagittarius, whoever this person is. I don't know if it's your person or someone around them made up a bunch of lies because they wanted you for themselves, Sagittarius. So it's like they're trying to taint your reputation, trying to make you look like the bad guy, that you're the one doing the most here. And they participated in it, Sag. Such full of shit. That's coward's way out, man, if I ever saw it. That's taking the coward's way out. And that's why they're getting their karma. The 
What's the coward's way out? Not only have they lost your respect, Sagittarius, but they have lost the respect of everybody around them, their social circles. Like trying to hang Sagittarius with some bullshit they did. Some bullshit their ex did. To save face to their ex. They make you the blame? Lies, lies, lies. They were a coward. Sorry, Sag, but they were. They were a coward. Made up some bloody ass bullshit. Now they really are in it. They took the coward's way out to save face. They're a fake. Sorry, Saj, they are. And now they're sitting there all embarrassed because they got ex their lies have been exposed. Oh, these people. Sometimes the truth is just do you better. You know. So that's where they're at. They're in a toxic twin flame relationship masquerading as a true love situation. But it is a karmic connection. A toxic twin flame connection. Your person feels cursed by doing you dirty, taking the coward's way out, spreading vicious lies and rumors about you. It's coming right back on them. And, yeah, so this karmic energy is sitting there using your person. They're going to end up breaking up. They're going to use them to get what they can out of them. Pretending to love them, but it's... It's unrequited. Because your energy is all up around them. They're being haunted, Sagittarius. This karmic thinks that this person is in love with them, and they're not. They got involved with this karmic energy to save face somehow. Mm -hmm. Probably so they didn't have to pay child support. If that's involved in your situation. It's a karmic twin flame relationship. A false twin. And now they're resentful and angry at you that they got themselves into the mess that they got themselves in. It's their own doing. It's a 
an illusion. Coward's way out, guys. Sorry. It's backfiring on them. It's their own karma. They're reaping what they have sown. Take care, Saj.